Hello friends, we are going to discuss about a specific dynamic action in this video. Before this, you have not subscribed my channel, then please subscribe our channel and support us. So starting with the specific dynamic action. So it refers to increased heat production or you can also say like increased metabolic rate. Okay, following the intake of food. After taking food, after taking food, the increased heat production or increased metabolic rate is defined under specific dynamic action now this increased heat production is due to part of this is due to expenditure of energy for digestion okay expenditure of energy for digestion the second one is your absorption or active transport of the absorbed substances okay these are the responsible for generation of heat okay Digestion, absorption and active transport of products of the digestion. Another reason for this expenditure of energy is that research material that is formation of glycogen, triacylglycerol, okay, proteins because these are the substances which are synthesized from small molecules available after digestion. So energy is also utilized here. Okay. So these two are the reasons for the expenditure of the energy. Now coming to the discussion for that, suppose a person take 250 gram carbohydrates, suppose a person is taking 250 gram carbohydrate, then this should produce 250 into 4 that is 1000 kilocalorie energy, okay, ideally it should produce this energy, but before this energy is trapped about 10% of this energy that is about 100 kilocalorie is drawn from the reserve of the body thus the next generation of energy is only with 100 kilocalorie energy is goes to two region that is first is your your expenditure of energy is going to your transport absorption and digestion purpose digestion absorption and transfer purpose the second is going into its storage creating a storage form glycerol triacylglycerol or glycogen like that that we have discussed okay so this 900 so the 900 kilocalorie energy is available for that person because 100 kilocalorie is going for this purpose and this is known as a specific dynamic action i am elaborating this more in detail now so if a person has to take 1000 kilocalorie from carbohydrate then it has that person must taking 11 100 kilocalorie if 10 percent is your sda because if person is taking if person has to take has to take thousand kilocalorie then that person must be given must be supplied with 1100 kilocalorie because 10 percent is going to a specific enemy action clear so the person must be provided be with 1100 kilocalorie now for the proteins the specific dynamic action is 30 percent for the lipids a specific dynamic action is your 15 percent and for carbohydrate the specific dynamic action is 5 percent it means that out of 100 grams of protein consumed out of 100 grams of protein consumed the energy available for doing useful work is 30 percent less than calculated value okay 30 percent less than calculated value this is the specific dynamic action getting okay so we have to take 30 percent extra energy if you have to take protein clear so this is about your specific dynamic action so thank you for watching if you like the video please subscribe our channel